problem is, you'll never guess what. My wife left me in the car again today. I don't know why, what's wrong with that woman, why she does that to me, but... I had a good lunch today. My, uh... Excuse me. My brother-in-law's parents are up here in the uh, cemetery on Maple Street, Danielsburg. And they come up here once a month, I guess, to, uh... take care of the cemetery and so we met him for lunch at 99 in Dayville and then after that Sharon and I went across the street to Lowe's I had to turn in broken light bulbs or get my money back on light bulbs that were broken not because of me, but because of the company. They were very delicate. And then we went across the street to, behind us, is the uh, Owen Bell Park in, da in Dayville. And we had ice cream. Delicious. I had a lemon. And Sharon had a s'mores. And it was a delicious dessert for after lunch. And now my wife is uh, at the doctor's office right behind us. See it? <laughs> uh, Lowe's and the 99 are in the same complex. Rara's where we got the ice cream is right behind us and in front of Ra Ra's is the doctor's office where Sharon is which is right across the street from Lowe's at 99 <coughs> so everything was right here <coughs> and the timing worked out perfect for us to be here when uh, she needed <coughs> to be <coughs> at her appointment <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> so we, uh, then we're going to go home. I got two lawns to do. And... I did mine the other day, so I have two lawns to do today, and when I finish them, I think it's about quarter of two, and I might, uh, might just go for a ride today. We'll see. I'm not sure yet. It's still in the low 60s. You might not think it but it is, but... It's warm, but I got a sweatshirt on, and I also had a a toque on, my skull cap. Will you guys see me? Oh, why don't you say something? And maybe I'll just relax today. Who knows? We'll see what happens after my honey's appointment. I'm going to Walmart. And uh, return some items. <coughs> <coughs> and yeah, quite the day today. Very enjoyable with my uh, sister, her husband, my brother in law. Get that? My sister and her husband, my brother in law, and my mother, who's living or my sisters and my mother-in-law who's living with my sister. You guys get all of that stuff that I'm talking about right now? I know it's all jumbled up and around here, there, and everywhere, but yeah, my mom moved from Florida to 
to uh, my sister's <coughs> in Higginham, and she lives with my sister and brother-in-law. I won't let her live with me. <coughs> Only because I don't want her to live with me. And, uh, I guess she's going to go to my brother's place in, uh, Pawkatuck, down by the coast in Connecticut, Pawkatuck, Connecticut. Go live down there with him for a week or two or three or four or whatever. But she won't be living with Sharon and me. Uh-uh. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. So, today's been a good day. It was 32 degrees this morning when I get up at 5 o'clock. <clears throat> and now it's in the mid-60s, I think. Not a cloud in the sky today. As you can see, not a cloud... Ooh, the camera's hot. Not a cloud in the sky today. And there's a cool breeze. And it's just cool enough to... Uh, Make it cool <coughs> when you're standing in it. And so, uh, I'm stuck here in the car again. Guess I'll take my belt off. I don't need my belt until we go ride, don't go driving. <coughs> I don't know. I got some ice cream stuck. I had a lemon sherbet. Oh, man, was that good. Sharon got s'mores, and she said that was good ice cream. Delicious. Ice cream ain't cheap. My small sugar cone, or my sugar cone with two scoops, she had a small regular cone with two scoops, and it was uh, $11 something. Yeah, you heard me. $11 for two ice creams. If you go anywhere else, it's eleven dollars for two ice creams. I think it's about twelve or thirteen bucks at Icebox, which is closer to home. But whew, it was good. Even Sharon said it was good. So that's the end of my little uh, video. I am going to take off my sweatshirt because it's getting warm in the car that she left me in. She left the windows open. She let me put the window down before uh, she didn't want to hot box me. <clears throat> so, I'm just going to take my sweatshirt off. And when I get home, I'm going to slide into a pair of shorts and mow two lawns. No metal. <laughs>